So I brought this case, uh, which has all of my DVDs in it. Some of the films in here are a documentary by Mark Cousins called The Story of Film and Odyssey. It was just really, really inspiring and really, really informative and interesting. I brought a, a DVD collection that is the three fantastic films by the late infamous Iranian director Abbas Kiarostami. I watched it when I was eight years old and that was the inspiration for my undergraduate dissertation film that I made um, in 2004-2005 called Ties. In film we're very proud that we are able to make sure um, our students understand the intricate um, connection between theory and practice and students when they're introduced to film studies, the introduction to film studies, they will learn those basic tools to read and understand basic film theory and at the end of that year students are um, put together in short uh, small groups to develop and bring that theory that they've learned and put it into practice. I really like the fact that it is kind of a theoretical based course but there is a lot of opportunity to kind of do practical stuff as well. If it was just all practical based you wouldn't necessarily have a good grounding in what to do or any kind of thought behind how to why you were doing something but having both is really really useful. I think the course does a really good job of kind of showing especially lots of like UK students that there's like a whole world out there full of people who make films and they make films very differently to how they're made in America and in the UK. They just don't happen to be in English. So all of our core film modules look at mainstream cinema uh, in conversation with the global cinema um, and looking at the diversity and influence of um, films to, with one another. To give you an example, for example, we would look at uh, perhaps um, American action films, that how they take from Japanese action cinema, as well as how, for example, um, iconic directors like uh, Akira Kurosawa has taken from Western genre. And we're looking at these uh, transnational exchanges throughout our program. We use Blackmagic cameras, which are really, really good, high quality cameras. And then we have quite a lot of editing software. We have an editing suite and we have railway tracks and dollies to lift the cameras up into the air and stuff. And just a huge amount of, and then also be up, like below that, we also have lots of other different kinds of cameras and equipment that I've actually never used. It's a huge kind of toy box to have. When we're workshopping their ideas and their short films, I always encourage them to kind of think about where the film is set as well as the timeline that it is and I think within a very short radius of where we live and where the campus is students have a very diverse range of locations they can bring into their films and within that uh, we develop student skills in practice uh, from basic skills in year one to learn how to work with basic DSLR and digital cameras work with basic equipment for audio recording and so on and by the time they get to their second year they can work towards making short films fictional films write their own scripts and bring it realize it into a fully full fledged short film. Genuinely been one of the best decisions I've made. Um, the world is full of like business studies students and history students like but you go up to somebody in Freshers Week and say oh what do you do? I do film. People look at you like oh wow that's interesting that's a bit different. So yeah just do it don't think about it. It's way better than any other degree.